In this episode, I'm going to cover some of the Flutter debugging tools. I'll start by opening up the example Flutter gallery, and once I've done with that, I'll toggle the debug paint and repaint rainbow, and I'll show the performance overlay and slow animations, and I can toggle the platform all in the same simulator. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to go to my IntelliJ IDEA application, and what I want to do is open up the gallery. So I'm going to click on Open, and the gallery is located in the Git directory, the Flutter Git directory, or the Flutter repo. So I'm going to go to the Flutter repo and select on Flutter. And here's examples in Flutter, and there's several examples to look at, and these are all great to examine, to pick apart, to figure out and it will help you with your application building. Okay, so I'm going to select on Flutter Gallery and click on Open. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to run the Flutter Packages Git because it's asking me to in the tips down here on the bottom right. And I'm going to close this unregistered Git directory. Okay, once the packages are fetched, I'm going to open up the iOS simulator, but I'm going to resize my IDE first so I can see the emulator or simulator on the left. And then I'm going to click the debug icon, the debug button at the top right here, and load up the application in the simulator. Okay, excellent. The Flutter Gallery is now running in the iOS simulator. So what I want to do is go to the Flutter menus and the Flutter menus can be found on the left over here. If you can see the Flutter on the very right hand, it's in the bar. Let's say you don't see that bar. Well, if you go down to the bottom left hand corner, you can make that bar come and go. So watch this. So I'm going to click on it. There it goes. It's gone. Well, I had a hard time finding it at one point. So I finally found where I can enable it. And that's the bottom left. And I just click on it. So if you're in, you like full screen, go for that in disable the menu bars on the left. So what I'm after, after I start up my application debugging, there is some menu icons underneath the Flutter pane here. So let me just hide that and show it again. So you can focus in on the Flutter pane. And I'm going to select this one here. Let me just hold for a moment. And that's the toggle debug paint. So I'm so I'm going to toggle the paint and wow, look what it does. It draws the arrows around the containers and how the sizing is set up. That's pretty cool. Let me just scroll and let me select another page. I'm going to select Pesto and you can see how it's putting all the arrows and showing the layout. That's pretty slick. So let, let me disable and toggle that off and I'm going to select the rainbow. Here's the paint, the rainbow. So watch this. So I'm going to select and toggle the paint rainbow and I'm going to see what happens here. You can see that it's painted the header here. Let me select on a link and you can see that it painted the entire window by the, the border color. So let me go back and you can see all the items that get painted. And so that's pretty cool. So if you're debugging your application and you need a little bit more fine grain solution to drilling what's getting painted on your window here or in your simulator, you can click on and toggle the paint the rainbow. Okay, so excellent. What's the next one? I'm going to hold for a moment. Here's performance overlay. So let me click on that. And there's the performance overlay. So I can examine how my application is running and I can optimize it using that graph. So I'm going to click on Pesto and see what happens here. Okay, so it looks like I'm at 31.2 frames per second on this simulator or in, and rasterizing 38.9 frames per second. So that's pretty cool. So what's the next icon I can press on over here? This is the slow animations. Okay, so let me go back first. And now I'm going to select on slow animations. Watch this, it'll slow it down. Slow motion. So you can see the animations in slow motion. Pretty cool. Okay, so the next one is toggling. What is it toggling? To toggle the platform. So I'm going to toggle the platform. Did you see that? You probably didn't notice that. Watch this icon up here on the top left. This is the Android icon. Let me switch back to the iOS icon. You can't tell. Here's, here's Mr. Hamburger up here. Let me just... Select it again. Okay, hamburger icon didn't change any. So let me try a different one here and try it again. 
okay, there's not much in this demo here that actually changes regarding the platform changes. But this is a clever way to look at both platforms in one simulator. Okay, there's one more tool today, but I'm not going to cover that, and that is the observatory timeline. That concludes the Flutter tools. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.